Hello everybody and welcome back to Craft Time with Matthew Made Art. Really excited to have you here today and really excited to share this week's project with you. Today we're going to be making these paper alligators or crocodiles, it's up to you, whichever you want to make. So I'm going to show you kind of a rough idea on how to make these, but I want you to use your own creativity and be as creative as you want. Pick whatever color, whatever shapes, however you want to make your alligator, it's up to you to make it your own. I only have three rules of crafting. Kindness is required, creativity is inspired, and perfection is unnecessary. All right, let's grab some supplies and make some crocodiles. For today's project, we'll need construction paper, glue, scissors, markers, and plenty of imagination. First step is we'll be picking out what color we want for the main body of our alligator. I think this time I'm gonna do purple. So we're gonna take our purple paper, and take our short sides here and our long sides here, and I'm gonna take my long side and I'm gonna fold it over just short of halfway so that there's so there's like kind of an inch of space over here. So I'm gonna fold that there. So, all right, and then I'm gonna take this extra little bit here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold it back over that. Like so. Okay, so I have like this and then like that. I have a little bit of glue right on the small flap. Then layer of glue here. Alright, I'm going to fold this over onto here. Fold it down. Hold that down, let it dry for a second. Now, so we're going to have a shape kind of like this. What we're going to do is take these two folds here, put them together, like so. Flatten it out again. Make these you see sides, and then we pop it back up. We're going to have kind of a square tube type shape. And that's going to be the main body of our alligator. So the next thing we do is once we'll have this, we're going to grab our scissors, and I'm going to cut a triangle on this side and on this side, so on both sides. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to cut in like so for his mouth, triangles, just like this. And we'll hold on to this triangle piece because we're going to use it just in, in a minute here. So I've got a triangle on this side, I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So on this side, So now we've got our triangles cut out on either side there, kind of for our mouth. Now we're going to take one of these triangles and we're going to use it for the tail. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right along here. And I'm going to glue this right back here on the back of my alligator. Oop, got a little extra glue in there. It's okay, it'll dry. All right, so I'm going to Push this down, and if you want to, you can kind of curve it up. That'll be our alligator's tail. All right, now I'm gonna create some eyes for our alligator. And you can do kind of like angry eyes, or kind of happier eyes, or sad eyes. However your alligator's feeling. I'm going to do white, I think. I'm gonna make some white eyes this time. I think I'll just make kind of some more round eyes this time. More circular. All right. So I fold my paper in half. So when I cut it, I got two. That'll trick me one million times. All right. These are gonna be our eyes. So I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take a marker here. And I'm gonna draw in some eyeballs here. Same thing over here. A 
All right. I'm going to grab a little bit of glue. Put it on here. And we're going to put our eyes right up here. Right behind her and above our mouth there. Alright, so there's one eye. Do the same thing on this side. Put a little bit of glue on there. Glue that on right like so. Alright. Now our alligator can see. I'm going to fold this down flat real quick here. I'm going to take that marker again. I'm going to do kind of a crisscross pattern here on the back. Kind of represent the crocodile skin. So we've got four long lines like that. I'm going to do some other lines across like that. There we go. All right. Next up, we'll do some teeth for them. I'm going to use yellow this time. I'm going to do them folded here. I'm going to see. I'm going to cut a piece of paper as long as I want the teeth to be. That's about right. So I got my piece of paper here that's folded in half. I'm just going to cut some. Just gonna cut a zigzag in here to make teeth. I'm gonna be careful not to cut all the way through or my teeth will fall apart. It's kinda of easier to keep them all in one piece. You can make them all different sizes and shapes. However you want your crocodile to be. Alright. Two things of teeth here. I'm gonna cut these down the middle. All right, these will be my alligator's teeth. So I'm gonna take these and put a little bit of glue right across the top here. And glue right along there. I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna glue them inside my alligator's mouth, like so. Okay, so there's that side. I'm gonna do this side. Same thing, just gonna put a little bit of glue on here. Right, right along this top edge here. Try not to get so messy this time. Glue those right in there. I'm gonna make one, one more little row of teeth for the front here, so. Take a piece of paper and cut it just about the size of that front there. So I'm going to do some more little zigzags. Okay, once I have my little zigzags cut for the front teeth, I'm just going to fold them. So, so that I can put a little bit of glue on there and just glue them right into the top there. All right, just a little bit of glue on there. All right, and there we go. Now our alligator's got some teeth. Take my marker. I'm gonna draw some little nostrils on the top. Just make these little half circle things. There we go. Got some nostrils. 
Now we'll do the uh, we'll do the legs. I'm gonna take some purple again, and I'm gonna let's see, I'll fold this in half here. So I can do our old cut out once, get two trick. I'm gonna cut out the leg shape. Let's do kind of a straight rectangle. Like so and then like with a little triangle on the end of it. Kind of like so. And then I'm gonna take into this triangle and I'm gonna cut in the little toes. Kind of like zigzags like the teeth. So, so there's little toes there. Cut these apart. Okay. I'm gonna fold these down at the feet. I'm gonna glue this down. So I'll glue this right here, right behind the eye. Fold it up. And I'm gonna fold it one more time in the middle for his kind of knee. There we go. So now I got one leg. Take this other one. Do the same thing. Put a little bit of a glue here. I'm gonna kind of put it right across from this other one here. Just about in the same spot. Put your hand in there if you need to. And I'll push it down. Okay, and then we're gonna fold it up. Hold it in half of the knee. So, and then hold it up at the foot. And there we go. There we got his front legs on. Alright, I'm just going to do two more of those. We'll take our paper here. Cut kind of a long straight line. Put kind of a triangle shape at the end of it. Right. So we got our long shapes with the triangles at the end. Take these, cut our zigzags for our toes. And cut as many zigzags as you want your alligator to have toes. Alright, so I'll fold these up at the foot. This is in the back here towards the tail. About right there. Get that pressed on. Now we're going to fold it up at the body again. And we'll fold it in half the knee. There we go. We got another leg, and then we just need to do the last one here. Body. Hold it down with the knee. Ta da! There we go. One last thing we're going to do is we're going we're to put a tongue into here. So let's see, I think I'll do a red tongue this time. Some red paper here. So I'm just going to cut out a simple tongue shape. Long straight line that's rounded on the end, like so. A tongue shape. I'm gonna take my marker here and draw a little line down the middle. All right, there's a tongue. Put a little bit of glue on that. Place that right inside his mouth, like so. Just like, just like that. All right, we did it, everybody. Congratulations, we made our alligators. Thanks for hanging out today and 
getting crafty with me. I always enjoy sharing these projects with you. And if you enjoy the projects, if you would please like comment and like and subscribe uh, to the channel, that would be awesome. And be sure to join us again next week when we'll be making these paper craft bats. Perfect for Halloween. We're getting to the spooky season. So be sure to join us for that and have a great week. And I hope we see you all soon.